Hi guys, it is a gorgeous, but a little bit chilly, call it 35 degrees here in the end times in paradise out by Hambone Walden's Hambo, Hambone Thoreau's Pond outside of Cedar Key, Florida, but at least it's 9 degrees warmer here in Florida today than in Anchorage, Alaska. So, I guess we can't complain. I guess I could be in Alaska and be 9 degrees cooler than here. But anyway, it being uh, Thursday, I, I'm trying to get the stomach to do my Donald Trump year anniversary rant. But I'm having a tough time, so maybe let me procrastinate here. Because this, and dive into the Humpty Dumpty tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds of alert listeners and this comment that I'm getting ready to read has as much to do with Donald Trump as as anybody else on the planet uh, so I guess this can be part of my dump the Trump the high roundup rant uh, we're gonna hear from alert tribes member Manta Rings Manta Rings Weighing in on these clueless morons, uh, talking about these flat earthers and, 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 and all of this crap, this anti-science, anti-intellectual, roughly summed up as the flat earth movement. <clears throat> Take it away, man of range. It sounds like the U.S. is further regressing into a batshit theocracy. And the growing crowds of flat earth people will happily drag everyone else into it. Actually, now that I think of it, we are actually setting the stage to reverse back to medieval lifestyles. Think about these signs. Ungodly wealthy neo-royalty, could you say Donald Trump, rock-stupid zealot peasants, can you say anybody supporting Donald Trump, a population getting used to little or no modern medicine. I'm not quite sure what Manta Rings is referring to there, but anyway. Uh, rising superbugs, hallelujah. Rising superbugs, discouraging complicated medical procedures, overcomplicated technology with planned obsolescence, can you say these Dell laptops, extreme resource shortages, wiped out wildlife replaced by almost nothing but domesticated critters, tribal rivalries springing anew. Can you say the uh, division in this country being fomented by uh, Donald Trump making this the most divisive United States, at least since the Civil War, and my guess is that Donald Trump has actually made us more divided as a country uh, than the Civil War. But uh, let's get back to Manta Rings rants. Okay. Laws absolving the rich and enslaving the poor. There you go. That certainly you can put a checkbox by Donald Trump on that one. A car obsessed culture <coughs> that a car obsessed culture that will leave obese people concentrated in small areas. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure how a car obsessed culture will leave obese people concentrated in small areas. It seems to me that cars are spreading obese people all over the planet. But anyway, I just like this comment. It's not that I agree with every parts of it. 
failing infrastructure forcing people to return to up to earlier living methods such as cabins, caravans, tents, and micro-houses made of random local shit. There you go. How about shitty diets overwhelmingly made up by low-nutrition carbs? Don't forget the heavily armed protective forces that occasionally end up as legal bandits harassing the poor, otherwise known as the rising police state. That's certainly Donald Trump is ramping up. And this last one sounding a little bit, Manta, a little bit like you're traipsing over into flat earth territory, but who knows. And now, recent plans for national park lands to be converted into huge hunting estates. And Manta explains this by saying the Normal Wildlife Council <coughs> was replaced with the Hunting and Shooting Sports Conservation Council, which has an emphasis on sport shooting. And, don't forget, raising entry prices to national parks beyond average means. Seriously, all we need is a resource collapse of some kind. That's coming any day now. Mainly fossil fuels or fresh water sources, and we will be right back to the Middle Ages in a hot Second, thank you, uh, Manta Rings, <coughs> for weighing in on your perceptive comment looking into the near future as we dive into the next year of the Trumpocene. So with that, I'm going to come back here uh, as we wind up the first year of Trumpageddon and see if I can make myself do my year roundup rant for hump, dump the Humpty tribe. tribe. Oh Jesus, I'm already get, getting physically nauseated thinking about that fucker. Blip. 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 Blip.